Hey everybody. Um, last time we looked at editing the Milky Way on Darktable, in Darktable, which is a great piece of free software for computers, but a few people came back and said, what about mobile devices? Because they're working on iPads or, or what have you. Uh, so I thought I'd just run over what's possible in Snapseed, which is a great free mobile application. So got the same picture. Uh, Snapseed does work from RAW, but I, um, I've made it into a JPEG to work on here. So I didn't really touch it. I just um, put the base curve on a few other things, much like a camera would normally do when you when it takes a JPEG itself. So yeah, uh, right. Let's see what we can do in here. Uh, so similar to the dark table approach, I could start with what I'd consider to be the basics, uh, which would be tune image and in tune image we can play with the brightness and contrast it's looking okay and again contrast uh, a bit like we talked about in the dark table video uh, we're going to go back and affect the contrast in different ways and Snapseed is similarly non-destructive as well. We can go back to each step and re-adjust re those settings without having lost anything in the process. And I think in some ways that makes me a bit old fashioned, the fact that I used to use destructive editors like where you couldn't go back and sort of change the, the stack of, uh, of things that are being applied. Okay. I mean, so I've got just loosely tried to get it aesthetically pleasing there, just to get a look I kind of like. Uh, we've got some detail enhancements. So I noticed there that structure, if we go too high on the structure, we really, really start making the stars a bit ugly. So just, just reasonably gentle on the structure there. And sharpening. It seems to be working on finer details, so that's all stars. So I'm going to keep the stars a bit softer. Okay, so curves. Let's just lift the whole thing up a bit and then try and emphasize that difference between the background and the Milky Way. So we're lifting the Milky Way above the background. We're creating the contrast between the background of your shot, like the natural sky glow, or whatever you're working with, and the Milky Way clouds. So trying to make that difference clear. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, tonal contrast. Let's Oh, so these sort of settings that it comes to straight away are quite strong. I'm just going to take them down for a minute. Okay, so I suspect we're going to get a fairly good response from the medium. Yeah, you can see how that just brings out the the nebulosity. Can you see, can you see that? And when, when we push it too far, things get really ugly in, in the top left with the with the stars and the noise getting over over affected there. So I'm just going to not too much, it's going to bring it up to sort of bring out the clouds a bit, that's nice. And low tonal contrast is affecting the the vans in the foreground, but nothing in our Milky Way shot, so I'll just leave that down there. So that's looking reasonable to me. I'm going to go back to my basic adjustments in my tune image. And let's just go over them again now that we've enhanced like the tonal contrast and thing. Let's things. Let's just see if we can get it even more pleasing. So we're contending with quite a glow in the bottom left as we were with dark table as well, to be honest. Uh, 
I think that's looking all right. Um, so in Snapseed, we can press on the picture and we can see the the unedited. <laughs> we can see the unedited version and what we've done to it. I'm just going to get a brush tool. Uh, so something I'm quite like about the mobile apps is the, the brush tools quite I'm quite custom to applying this type kind of tool on a mobile device. It's more natural than using the mouse on Darktable, for example, to me. Uh, so I'm just going to see if I can just get rid of some of this glow. Oop, did a bit too much there. I went over it too many times. Okay, so I've created a bit of an artifact there. So actually, I'm just going to cancel out that. Um, but I'm sure with enough time and effort and it, attention to detail, I could probably we could probably address that glow in here. Maybe there's this even a better way. Ooh, select it. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. Blimey. So I'll just um, use the selective tool. We can choose an area to affect and I can just bring down the glow. Look at that. I did not expect to find that when I was filming this video. Here we have it. All right, I'm fairly pleased with that. Um, probably isn't quite um, where I, I could get the, the dark table version because I can't uh, find the denoise sort of tools in Snapseed if there are any and I can't see like it's just a bit more awkward I mean perhaps on an iPad it'd be better but on this phone I just can't see the details as well as much as I can pop in and pop out with the zoom I think it's just a bit more a bit easier to work on a big screen but I have to say I'm pretty happy with that so I hope that was useful in some way uh, let me know and we'll see you again next time take care